Hello everyone and welcome. Today I want to share my experience of selling my BMW 3 Series for 1998 Honda Civic. My wife and I, we have very specific financial goals. We want to pay off all of our debt, and then we'd like to save it for a house, and then eventually invest. And when you have a baby, it kind of makes budgeting very interesting. So I went through and assessed all of our items in our budget. And I noticed that if I switched out the BMW for a cheaper car, I could save a considerable, considerable amount of money first in the upfront cost, and then two, the ongoing expenses. The BMW got 22 to 25 miles per gallon on premium fuel, while the Honda got into the 30s on fuel economy on regular gas, which was 40 to 60 cents cheaper per gallon, depending on where you are. Also, uh, an ongoing maintenance item such as an oil change was incredibly cheap on the Honda. I was only paying $15 in oil change, and I did all the work myself. So I did ongoing maintenance, I did a tune-up, the oil changes, everything was done by myself for any vehicles that we own. So that was a significant cost savings right there just by not having someone do basic maintenance on your car. So combining fuel costs and then cheaper insurance because the Honda I just put on basic insurance, that combined saved me $100 per month that we were then able to use in other areas of our budget, such as paying off debt. So what was my experience during this time? First off, I'll tell you that no one cares what you drive. Every day that I drove into the office, I was parking next to someone who drove in um, in a Maserati. And let me tell you, every day I walked in, I knew for me to get to the office and for him to get to the exact same destination, I was paying a fraction of the cost that he was paying. Now, I don't know this person, uh, I assume he probably makes significantly more than me, or he's just paying a massive monthly payment for that car. But I knew that I had a financial goal, and this was one way to meet that goal. Another conversation starter was the reliability of the car. Everyone thought, hey, if you have a 22-year-old car, aren't you breaking down all the time? And if you do your homework and you find good, reliable cars at a decent price, and then maintain them properly, don't dump a ton of money into it because it's just a beater car. Don't make it look fancy or anything, but just doing the regular maintenance on a good car, uh, I never had any reliability issues. And I was driving 50 miles a day round trip on the highway, so I needed it to be reliable, not only just getting around town, but also on the highway for 50 miles a day. It also became a conversation starter for others who are recognizing that I made some pretty drastic moves in order to meet our goal. And so they started asking questions about how they could help um, for their own budgets in different areas that they could cut in or different sacrifices that, that they could make. And those are some cool conversations to see that all I did was change vehicles. And at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal, um, but it kind of motivated others as well to, to make uh, some changes in their own financial life to meet their own goals. So to conclude, I would ask, what are your financial goals? And more importantly, what are the steps that you are taking to meet those goals? What are the items that you're addressing? Are you reviewing your budget and thinking, where are where are areas that I can cut in that I don't need? And it doesn't have to be a huge sacrifice. I know selling a BMW for a Honda is uh, one thing. It is a little drastic, but at the end of the day, it's, it's a vehicle. It's getting you from point A to point B. And I like nice cars, uh, but you can define nice in multiple ways. And the Honda was nice in the sense that it cost me almost nothing to maintain, to operate, and it was saving me an incredible amount of money. And just a side note on this whole conversation, I'm actually a huge car fan. I've owned probably 10 cars over the last 10 years or so. In high school, I used to buy cars, fix them up, and then sell them. I crashed a couple, uh, but I'm, I'm really into cars. I even had a project car as a 1984 Mercedes with a diesel engine in it. Uh, so this is not me saying to not have a nice car. I enjoy cars, but this is just a season of my life that I recognized if I made some sacrifices today, I could get ahead for myself tomorrow. And so that's what I did. Thank you for watching. I ask that you please like and subscribe.